Today's video is the second video in the series of alternative fly tying materials. Now, I was going to post this video last week, and I apologize. I went to the mountains in Colorado fishing, and I brought everything to do the video, and I had no cell phone service, no internet, no anything, so I just fished the whole time. So anyhow, we caught a bunch of browns and brookies, and we had a great time up in the mountains, Colorado. We're back, so here we are with the video again. Today's video, I'm going to talk about a fly that I used a lot on my trip. I did a lot of dropper fishing. And when I say dropper fishing, I mean I'm fishing like a midge or an infrapertagon or something like that below an indicator fly. Now, a lot of people use like chubby Chernobyls and stuff like that, but I also use dry flies with big gaudy wings. And the reason I do that is they're easier for me to see. So if I'm fishing in low light conditions or I'm fishing with a dropper somewhere, I can see it. And when I get that bite below, these things flash real good. So they make a great indicator fly. A lot of people fish them for just dry flies as well. But you can see the wings, they're pretty big. They're reflective. They work pretty good. Now, they also make smaller wings on dry flies. And you can see here, I've got some that have some little wings protruding up. And then I also do a lot of hopper bodies. So like here's a little parachute hopper I've made. And you can see the back, it's got a wing case material as well. So you can buy these materials and, and they come in little packages like this that are pre-cut. Or you can buy the material and you can use wing burners and make your own. And that's great. There's no problem with that. But say you live like I do, like I've said a million times before in these videos, and you're not able to get to the fly shop or you're not able to order something that day. I'm going to show you guys some materials you can use with some simple tools to make all the wings that you want. Now I got these wing burners and what they are is they're basically like a set of tweezers and they come in every kind of shape and size of wing that you can imagine. And basically they're just a piece of brass folded in half that has all the different shapes for mayflies, for stoneflies to make the little body segments. I mean, pretty much the sky's the limit on these things. So if you get a pair of these, you can make all the wings that you want. I get these from Jay Stockard. Most fly shops will have them, but Jay Stockard has them. Um, I love that company. I've been doing business with them for years. They treat me good, so that's where I do most of my business from. So, what the material is that I'm going to talk about today is called Tool. It's spelled T-U-L-L-E, and what it is is a veiling material. Now, any store that sells material that sells, like, sewing stuff should have it in either a roll like this, or you can buy it off the yard. Now, if you can get it all bought by the yard through the material section... You can get these great big sections and I've got, these are half yard and I got 50 cents a piece in them in all these different colors and they work amazing. And if you'll notice the material is going to be almost identical to the material those wings are made out of. Now, the way I do it is I've got a little piece of that tool right here that I've cut off of here. Now you can take scissors and you can cut the shape out and you can make them whatever shape you want, but they'll fray and, and they won't stay together as good as if you use a wing burner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a little piece and I'm gonna put it on my wing burner. I want it just to be a little bit bigger than my wing burner. Now these wing burners are awesome. Um, if you're doing a bunch, you can use a candle. If you're just doing a few like I'm gonna do for the video today, you just need a lighter. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna clip it in between the two pieces of metal and you take your lighter and you just singe it off. Now that is going to turn out to be a pretty cool little wing. So you've got your little wing material made. And you can make all the different shapes, sizes, whatever, colors. And it works pretty well. They, 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 I've made a few just to show you guys in different sizes. And it singes the edges that gives it a great sealed contour. And it makes it look a little more realistic when they're singed around there so to just cut. So that tool material is great. I love it for wings, but there's also other materials. Say you don't want to go to the store or whatever, you can get right in your house and you can get fabric softener sheets. Now I can get these fabric softener sheets. You can get these at the dollar store. You can buy them for a dollar. Scented, unscented, it doesn't matter. I've used them both. I've never had any problems with either one. Take it, cut the little piece just as you did before. Take your wing burner, put it on the wing burner as such. Take your lighter and be careful that you're not burning yourself when you get back with the wing burner, but these make outstanding wing material as well. You can see that thing's got the perfect little shape. It's durable. That edge being singed gives it more realistic look and it just, it works. They, they work great. So say you want other options. Well, everybody gets foam in the mail when they order stuff. So if you buy any kind of electronic, it's going to have this little thin foam on there. The same difference. You can take and you cut a little piece. I got my little piece. 
put it in my wing burner. Making sure it sticks out just a little bit on all, edge, all the edges and I can singe it down. Just as such, I can pull it out and I've got my perfect shaped wing material. So guys, if you're going to be tying flies with wings, which I recommend, they, they look awesome. You can get way, way creative with them and make them look way more realistic than other patterns. They're great for indicators. Some of them just look cool. Some of them are for the fishermen and not the fish, but they do. They work good. They enhance the visibility for the fishermen. They make a bigger shadow on the water for the fish. They, when they're ganked up, they give more durability on the floating aspect of things. They're just, it's, it's just awesome to have wings. Maybe not every fly, but there's a lot of patterns that do. You can get these, like I say, these little sets of wing burners from Jay Stockard. They're not much. I, I'm thinking it's like 15 bucks for the set. Not very much to do it, but you can make an unlimited amount of wings. And like I say, you can use foam. You can use dryer sheets or you can use tool and you can buy all kinds of different colors and shapes and variations. I think they had 40 different options in these rolls. I bought every option that they had in the colors, but I mean, you can get them with glitter. You can get all kinds of different stuff so you can match whatever you're really wanting to go for. So these little options here are something you can buy local. You can make wings and you don't have to spend that big money to buy the little packages of wings like this. I think this little package was like $4. It, you know, they can get really expensive. So this was another tip that I hope will save you guys some money and give you more options and variety when tying. So I hope this helps and we will see you guys in the next video.